After Demi Vollering's exhibition on the Tourmalet yesterday, she went into the yellow jersey with a very comfortable gap over Van Lurten before the TT in Po. But the rest of the podium spots were up for grabs. Vollering still did the recon the morning before like normal. But here's the course, just over 22 kilometers. It's got one climb in the middle up to the intermediate sprint point, about 1,400 meters, 7%. And then the second part is quicker with a little 500 meter punch to the finish. Now, GC, Nivedoma, not the best time trials, but it's a punchy course. She had a 38 second gap on AVV and a 45 second gap on Capecchi. But Sam Michelle stole the show before the stage with their Galette. Um, wheel cover SD Works already had the yellow and green bikes ready for Capecchi and Vollering but Grace Fra Brown was one of the best early marks ending up fourth on the stage overall and probably putting a hand up for a medal at the World Championships TT coming up in a couple of weeks actually but Royce to the European champion ready to go snood on the Darth Vader helmet and just look at her setup compared to a lot of the other riders really long extensions obviously taller than some of the gc contenders but head right tucked behind there and she was absolutely flying she did the tourmalet really easy yesterday after she'd finished her work for volering presumably saving her legs for this tt which will have been a huge focus for her and at the intermediate she was 27 seconds ahead of brown who herself set the best provisional time 40 seconds ahead of Guazzini but then not long after and you can see this final little punch to the line in the distance in Poe Royce just mostly in also the extensions for this climb too set a monster time and really the only question would be could Capecchi or her teammate Vollering beat her time because she put the best part of 40 seconds into Brown's time who just put 40 seconds into everybody else so huge time from Royce she'd be in the hot seat for a long time so she got the fan ready to go whilst her teammate Vollering was ready to go to defend the yellow jersey the prime minister of the French Republic in the car but the first French lady on the road Juliette Labou starting in sixth on GC with a pretty big gap to Mulman she did one of the best TTs, I think, today compared to expectations. 40 seconds behind Royce at T1, already with over 50 seconds on Mulman at T1, whilst Capecchi, she was eyeing down the podium spot, starting the stage fourth on GC, but with Nivea Doma, not the best course for her. She'd hoped it would be even hillier, and SD Works got the great setup. Kapeki's probably got, well, definitely has more raw power. But all the stars were on the road at once. Vollering looking locked in. She said she was almost too relaxed in the morning before the TT. She had to psych herself up, and she was absolutely flying. But you can see Bowenfind, the small climbing teammate of Nivea Doma, she was also struggling to T1. She would keep her ninth on GC, but yeah, how would Nivea Doma compare to Kapeki and Van Vlerten, who Who's on the road as well. It was certainly possible that Nivea Doma could go from second to fourth if AVV and Kapeki had their best days in the TT, but it didn't look like AVV was having that day. She was actually barely in the top 10 at the intermediate after that long climb, slower than Nivea Doma up to that point. Kapeki was on 30 seconds, and Nivea Doma practically set the same time as Kapeki. So she was looking like she wasn't only defending the podium. But her second place on GC, you can see she's 45 seconds ahead of uh, Capecchi, and it's Van Vlerten actually losing the podium to Capecchi at the intermediate, where Vollering's just a bit behind her teammate Marlon Royce. But Labou, as I said, really solid TT, ended up finishing, I think, sixth. That would take Mulman out of fifth on GC, who's getting passed by Capecchi on the road. Maybe that draft made a difference to the GC podium standings later on, with Capecchi doing another brilliant TT performance for SD Works, 37 seconds behind her teammate Royce. And where was Van Vlerten? She struggled, said she didn't feel herself yesterday on the Tourmalet. So last Tour de France femme, Avex Swift, after winning the inaugural edition last year, she's retiring at the end of this year, and she slipped off the podium on GC today, not doing her best time trial. Normally, she'd finish easily in the top 10 on a hilly TT like this, but for Nivea Doma, good news for her podium ambitions but her second place was actually slipping away. She faded in the second half of this TT and ends up losing second place by less than a second. Still on the podium, still the Maio Pois QOM jersey on her shoulders and a stage for Bowenfine. But it was the coronation of the yellow jersey, Demi Vollering, 
Surely no one did this final punch quicker than her, sprinting the whole way out of the saddle. And I reckon she could have even gone faster on this TT because she did the second half from the intermediate, the faster section at 50 kph, quicker than the engine. Marlon Royce, who got a fright when she saw green when Vollering was rounding that corner. But she wins the stage, much deserved for her. The fourth stage win for SD Works, who'll be happy, who take teams, GC, Dream Jersey, and four different riders winning a stage. Nuvia Doma, I think, will take the podium, even though she lost her second place. Royce winning the stage. I'm really happy for her, because she did so much work, often gluing things together for Vollering and Capecchi this week. Ahead of Vollering and Capecchi, Labu a nice sixth. Nuvia Doma also, I think, in the top ten is a pretty good result for her. Here's what Vollering had to say after the stage. Yesterday morning, you told me you were a bit nervous. Was it the case today, or it was easier for you, for the TT? Actually, I was this morning super, super relaxed and uh, that made me a bit nervous because I was so relaxed that I was like, oh, I need to wake up because <laughs> you also need to have those nerves for a time trial because otherwise it's not good. And yeah, in the end, you, if you have those nerves, you can really dig deep also. Um, it makes you sharp. So this morning, <laughs> yeah, I was first really, really, really uh, relaxed and then... Uh, yeah, then I got a bit nervous from that I was so relaxed, so then the nerves came a bit, and then it was all good in the end. But as I said, there's a new queen in town, Demi Vollering, the best rider in the world, takes the Tour de France Femme avec Swift GC, and with this team behind her for next year, they're only getting better. It looks like her reign might last for a long time, but it's risky to say that in cycling. Someone else could pop up. Riolini, Niedermeyer, Bauernfein. Nuvia Doma's improved a lot too. But yeah, Volering wins GC ahead of Kopecky. Nuvia Doma on the same time. Van Vlerten on fourth and Labou fifth. Hope you enjoyed all the videos. It's been a big month for me, and I'm taking a little bit of a holiday. Going to the Basque Country as usual. I'll see you with a recap later. Ciao.